Welcome to Box Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie Extraction 2, released in the year 2023. The movie starts and we see Tyler Rake in Dhaka. He is badly wounded and right away taken to the hospital in Dubai via an air ambulance. Days go by and he does not respond. The doctors now start giving up hope. We then see that a woman named Nick Khan is also there and she has been anxiously waiting for Tyler to wake up. One day, the doctor comes to her and goes on to tell her that he's sorry, but he does not think it to be a good idea to keep letting Tyler live like this. He tells Nick Khan that they should put the man down, but she refuses to let them do, making it abundantly clear that she is not giving up hope. Days go by and a nurse is cutting Tyler's nails when he starts breathing heavily and even murmurs something. Nick Khan is called in and after a while, Tyler starts talking to her and his first words are, fuck off. In the next few weeks, Tyler is made to go through many exercises because he's barely able to walk and Nick is with him all the time. She tells him that she really cares about him. This is when the scene changes to Kujori in Georgia, where she sees a man named Zurab, who is approached by another man bearing bad news. The man tells Zurab that his brother's sentence has been extended by 10 years. And with that, the scene changes to Chakshiri Prison in Georgia. Zurab right away calls the governor, and when governor comes to see him, Zurab tells him to do something about his brother. But the governor says his brother threw a DEA agent off a bridge, so the Americans are all over them, making it impossible to save his brother. Zurab gets pissed and kills the governor and all his men right there. On the other hand, Tyler is with Nick and a boy called Yaz Khan. Yaz is wearing a shirt which Tyler likes, so Yaz promises to get one for him. Yaz and Nick then drive Tyler to a secluded place in Austria, where Nick tells Tyler to enjoy his retirement life in a cabin which she has gifted him. She tells him to change the next chapter of his life by doing something different, and after a few days, Yaz sends him that shirt. We then see Zurab's brother, Devit, in prison, who has called in his whole family to live there with him, and his wife is not happy about it. She refuses to do it with him, and he slaps her, telling her that she will be separated from the kids if she does not cooperate with him. In the meantime, Tyler comes home from a drive and finds a man sitting in front of his house drinking tea. The man asks him if he is Tyler, the legend of Mumbai, who saved the journalist. The man tells him that he has got a job for him, but Tyler tells him that he's not interested. The man then says that it does not seem like Tyler is even capable of pulling the trigger, which is when Tyler shoots the cup right off of his hand and tells him to leave. The man says what if this job has been offered by his ex-wife Mia? Tyler then talks to him inside and the man tells him that Mia's sister is in trouble. He then reveals that Mia's sister is actually Devitt's wife, who is in a Georgian prison because of her husband. He then tells him about Devitt and Zurab, who grew up through the times of civil war in Georgia, and they call themselves the Nagazi, taking great pride in that name. They ran to Armenia during the civil war and were raised up by their uncle, called Avtandil, who runs their operations even to this very day. They made their way back to Georgia as a very powerful cult that contains their close family members, and they take great pride in their group. They are now so powerful that they practically run the country. Devitt is in prison just because of American pressure. Tyler agrees to do the job, and the man advises him not to start a fight in prison because there are two gangs in that prison, and both of those gangs would want to kill Tyler, and if Devitt gets to know that his wife is to be taken out, he's going to kill her. The man leaves, telling Tyler that he will see him later. Tyler calls Nick, telling her that the whole retirement thing is not for him. He tells her the details of the mission, and the next thing we see, they're on their way to Chakiri Prison. The guard, who is supposed to be in charge of room 207, the family's room, he's with Tyler and his team, and he tells Tyler to do the job within five minutes, or he will be screwed. Tyler goes to room 207, and when he's taking the family out, a prisoner sees them and whistles. All prisoners wake up, and Tyler has to fight his way out of there. When he finally manages to get rid of the prisoners through a small explosion, he finds a way out. He sends the kid out first, but when he's about to help the mother go up, Devitt gets there and attacks him. 
Their fight goes on for a while, and that leads the prison security to form up. Tyler manages to kill Devitt, and when he is about to leave, Nick and the others tell him they have got no time. The shooting begins, and Tyler tells them to get out of there. A prison break takes place. All the prisoners are out of their cells, and they start fighting the guards. There's complete chaos out there. Tyler now has no choice but to walk through a yard that is full of prisoners who are crazy violent. They start walking, and dozens attack him and the woman, but he keeps shooting or stabbing them. Tyler is then hit with a brick on his head from behind, and he loses consciousness for a few seconds, when the woman is dragged away by some prisoners, but he manages to get it together soon and then attacks the prisoners and the guards again. He goes on to kill the prisoner, dragging away the woman, and this is when Nick also shows up and they get out of there. Yaz tells him that they just intercepted a few radio calls of Nagazi and they're on their way to fight them. Nagazi are told to be heavily armed. As they hit the road, they're attacked by the Nagazi. However, they somehow manage to take them down and get to a factory, which is their hideout. Nick has a lot of her own people there, and they take a breather there. In the meantime, the Nagazi has also gotten there, and they have brought helicopters too. Devitt's kid keeps asking why the men of their uncle is attacking them, and their mother keeps dodging their questions. The mother also tells the kids that their father is going to join them soon. Tyler tells the others to take care of the kids, while he himself goes out to fight. They're now on a moving train, and Tyler goes out to fight. He manages to take down one helicopter right away, but the other manages to hit him, and when he's out, some men from the helicopter land on the train and start killing everyone in their tracks. Nick is attacked by two men in her cabin, but she manages to put on a great fight and kills both of them. Three men get in the cabin where the family has been kept, and Yaz is also there. Just as these men are about to discover the family, Tyler gets there and starts fighting these men. He kills them all, with Yaz also coming to help, and amidst all this, Devitt's son keeps noticing that they are killing his dad and uncle's men. He is curious, but does not say anything yet. Tyler joins Nick, who is operating the train engine. They are attacked by a helicopter, which Tyler takes down right away, but this attack causes the brakes on the train to go out of order. This is when the train hits, and it is shattered into pieces. All of them are however safe, and when they are walking towards the plane, Devitt's son, named Sandro, gets to know that Tyler is the one who killed his father. But Tyler tells the boy that Devitt was going to kill his mother, so it was either her or him. Sandro is angry at Tyler. They get on a plane to Vienna when Yaz is talking on the phone. Sandro hears him say that they are going to Vienna. Sandro then steals the phone and calls his uncle Zurab. He asks him if his father was going to kill his mother. This is when Zurab gets to know that Devitt's wife is the real reason behind all this, so he decides to exact revenge on everyone present in this mission. Zurab asks the boy his location, and the scene changes to Nick talking to Devitt's wife, who is Tyler's sister-in-law. After that, Tyler is joined by Sandro, who makes it clear that he's angry at Tyler for killing his dad. Tyler tells him that he had no grudge with his dad, he did what he had to do. All of them have now gotten to what they think is a secure location for them. In the meantime, Zurab is ready to take down Nick and Tyler. He tells his men about it, and all of them say that they are willing to put their lives on the line to avenge their brother. Tyler is giving a pep talk to Sandro, when he reveals that they are coming. This is when dozens of cars and helicopters arrive at the building and attack. Nick and Tyler right away get down to the garage with the family, and the family gets in the car but Sandro gets out and starts running, saying he's going to his uncle as he belongs to Nagazi. Yaz tries to catch him, but he ends up getting to his uncle. This is when Nick gets there in a car, which is flipped when she's gunned by the man standing with Zurab. Yaz helps her up and kills that man in a shootout. In the meantime, three men get to the garage where the family is present. Just as they're about to discover the mother and the girl, Tyler attacks them and a hand-to-hand -hand combat begins after Tyler kills two of the three men. Tyler kills the last one and gets in the car. He tries to drive out of there, but Zurab's men are everywhere, and they manage to hit the car and it is useless. He then gets the family out of the car, tells them to stay behind him as he shoots everyone in his tracks. Two men try to attack him, but he stabs them to death in the blink of an eye. Zurab also gets there, and he sees Devitt's wife and daughter. 
They have now started moving toward the elevator, and just as Zurab is about to shoot them, the elevator shuts, and they go up towards the roof. Tyler leaves the mother and the daughter in a room, while he himself goes on the rooftop, where Nick and Yaz already engaged in a gunfight with Zurab's men. Nick shows great athleticism as she moves swiftly, taking down the man with both her hands and her guns, but she also gets many hits, and her condition does not look great. Tyler moves his way up, but he has to fight many men before he is able to get near the rooftop. Just as he is close to getting there, Nick gets in a fight with a man who drives himself and her on the edge of the glassed roof. Both of them are unconscious, and they start sliding. The man falls down to his death, and Nick is noticed sliding down by Tyler. Tyler, however, barely manages to get there. He grabs her hand, and both of them are hanging on for dear life. This is when Zurab gets there and shoots Tyler on the hand, which, when he is holding the girl and with the other hand, he is holding Nick. He then throws Nick to the other side of the roof and climbs up right away. This causes Zurab to slip, and he is now hanging by the grill just like Tyler. In the meantime, Nick gets to the room where the family is, and she kills a huge guy who is about to kill the mother and the daughter. A fight takes place between Zurab and Tyler. Tyler knocks him out. All of them quickly get on a helicopter, but Yaz is shot twice by Zurab from behind. They manage to get him on the helicopter and fly away as Zurab looks on, but Yaz is dead. They go to Tyler's secluded cabin, where Mia also joins them. Mia is Tyler's ex-wife. They had a son, but he died when Tyler was deployed in Afghanistan, and Mia is angry at Tyler for walking out on them years ago. Tyler tells her that he is sorry, but she says she does not care. She then meets her sister and her daughter. This is when Zurab sits with his uncle, who tells him to give up on this revenge thing because it is not going to get him anything. However, Zurab kills his uncle right in front of Sandro, who now has second thoughts about the decisions he has made. Zurab then calls Tyler and tells him that he cannot sleep while Tyler is still around. He tells Tyler to come to an airfield in Georgiana. Tyler gets ready and leaves. Nick wants to come along, but he wants to go alone. He gets there and starts blowing up everything there. He's then attacked by a man who manages to shoot him, but Tyler kills him right away. Tyler is now bleeding badly, but he keeps walking and enters the building, and where Zurab has attacked a bomb to Sandro's body. He asks Sandro to shoot Tyler, but Sandro does not do it. Just he himself is about to shoot the man, Nick shows up. He makes her put down her weapon as well, threatening to blow up the boy if she does not do so. This is when Sandro manages to take off his vest and he's free from the bomb now. A shootout begins and Nick is hit again. As Sandro tries to comfort her, Tyler fights Zurab. Zurab gets the upper hand in the fight. He hits Tyler on the face with a box full of nails, then stabs him with nails, but Tyler fights back and just as Zurab tries to reach for his gun, Tyler stabs him multiple times in the legs, then in the back, and finally in the head. He finishes him off by shooting him in the head, and goes to Nick, who does not look good. The scene then changes to Schwarzau prison, where we see Nick handcuffed to a bed as she's still recovering, and Tyler is in another prison where Mia comes to see him. She tells him that the last memory of their son was not Tyler walking out on him, his last memory was his father going to save the other people. He then asks her about her sister's kids, and she mentions some financial problems. Tyler tells Mia to go to his cabin, saying she is going to find millions of dollars there. The scene changes, and Tyler is taken to a secluded place, where the black guy who came to meet him at his cabin is present. He offers to get Tyler out of prison if he agrees to work for him. Tyler asks the man's name, but the man says his name does not matter. Tyler then says he does not work without his team, and the team is Nick. This is when another car approaches, and Nick comes out. The man tells Tyler that he is going to work for their boss, and Tyler is reunited with Nick. With that, the movie comes to an end. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on the notification and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.